Hello students, today we will learn overleaf. Okay, uh, in the previous latex videos, I have taught you how to use Winnedit and we can also use Textworks. Okay, these are the two editors which you can use without the Wi Fi. You can use it offline. Okay, so now today we will learn a compiler you can use online. Okay, so uh, this is Overleaf. Okay, so let me make a new project. For that, I will go for Overleaf Thesis Template. You can see here that we have got different thesis formats available. Okay, and of course, uh, uh, if you belong to uh, any university, then you can uh, use that template. Okay, and if you haven't got that template, you can design that template of the starting pages after some practice. But let us start with a very simple uh, latex template. Okay, so. Uh, in English, preferably. So, open template. I have clicked on open template, and you can see here that I have here the thesis main file and then the bibliography file. We have already learned how to type the tag file okay then these are the uh, sty files okay and this image uh, these are the images the folder for the images body uh, let us see what is inside the body of the thesis there are chapters can you see here chapter one main uh, chapter two chapter three chapter four and so on how you call it in the latex main file this is the thesis main file. You can see that we will call the chapters Can you see here students here we have called the chapters okay so this is the uh, path for the chapter okay so uh, this is the file name ch1 underscore main can you see here? This is the file name and this is the folder. Okay, and uh, this is the subfolder. This is another folder. Okay, sub subfolder, subfolder, and the main folder is, of course, for thesis, the body folder. Okay, and sometimes people put all these text files in a main uh, thesis folder to, uh, you know, uh, make it more easier. That is also allowed. Okay, so now you can see here if you want to make any changes inside the chapters, you can make the changes and uh, let us do it together. So here you can see, for example, these are the front pages okay and chapter number one let us go to chapter number one so general introduction here let us go inside chapter number one so it says general introduction i want to make it simply introduction okay and now i will type in this thesis we will uh, model this problem Okay, I want to see whether my text file uh, has got these changes or not, whether I have made these changes successfully or not. So now let me go to the thesis.txt file and compile it. Remember, whatever change you have made in the subfiles, you will compile it in the main file main thesis file i edited the name to introduction then i have edited it in this thesis we will model this problem so you can see that yes i have uh, edited chapter number one successfully okay if your thesis has got less chapters you can remove it okay if you want to cite something for example, uh, here is my references folder. This is 
the text file which we'll call the master bib file so uh, uh, it has given me the clue that if i want to add a reference i will edit this master bib file okay so let me go there here this is my master bib file okay so i want to add a book i will say that um I will go to the Google Scholar here. Okay, you can uh, also save the Google Scholar in your main icon, uh, main tab. Okay, so let's say this paper, I want to cite. So I will take it here, okay and i will i want to call it i want to call it in chapter number one okay so i will say drew 1981 phase so i will call it with this name right so let me go to chapter number one now and i will say inspired by the work of site and now it will give me the options okay so here okay so i can call it and then i will go to the main file i will compile it can you see here let me show you in this he says we will model this problem inspired by the work of this person uh, we have extended the problem and so on okay so this is a very easy guide with the help of overleaf you can easily type your thesis and when, once you are done with it you can uh, edit the title pages as well this is also very easy okay for example you want to edit the first line uh, submitted to whatever university so you can see that all the main files are here here you can see list of tables list of figures that is also in the subfolders preface abstract okay here you can change the abstract you can change the acknowledgement you can change the dedication okay for example where is the dedication page here it will appear okay and if i want to edit the dedication page what will i do i will edit it here i would like to dedicate this thesis to my friends and okay so now i want to run it again i will go to the main file thesis.txt file you can see here that you can run it very easily and you can download the pdf and if you want to work offline now okay this is my thesis i want to see the dedication page I want to see chapter number one where I made some edits. So the dedication page I edited. Then chapter number one here I made this change. I can see it. The references are here okay now uh, the point is that uh, students i want to uh, uh, run this folder offline so can i yes i can i will download it i will click on it download it okay and then i will unzip this folder and i can easily uh, use it using winedit okay so uh, that is it so I hope that 
uh, this video will help you to uh, type your thesis online or offline. The most important thing is the template and the subfolders and to locate the folders and edit inside the subfolders. And I, uh, my experience is that I have experienced uh, that like um, Overleaf is user friendly as compared to WinEdit, uh, Overleaf is user friendly. You can compile the thesis more swiftly using Overleaf, okay? Good luck and uh, do not forget to make your Overleaf account using uh, your Gmail ID and password, okay?